All right, the other thing that's going on this summer that's worth noting is the Summer of Pride. What is the Summer of Pride, you might ask? Well, the Summer of Pride is what Admirable, Admiral Rachel Levine, Admiral Rachel Levine lived the first 50 years as Richard Levine. Yes, this one. Admiral Rachel Levine says that that we're not going to end Pride Month at the end of June. No, no, you think we're, what, three days away from the end of Pride Month? You're probably waiting with bated breath for Pride Month to end. No, no, it's going to be the summer of Pride, and this is why. Take a look at this video. Hello, my name is Admiral Rachel Levine, and I have the honor of being the Assistant Secretary for Health at the United States Department of Health and Human Services. Happy Pride! Happy Pride Month, and actually, let's declare it a summer of pride. Happy summer of pride. Let's not and say we did. Let's not declare it a summer of pride. Let's end Pride Month at, I can't even believe that I'm calling it Pride Month, that month formerly known as June, that has been hijacked by the radical leftists. This is very interesting. This is not a coincidence that quote unquote, Rachel Levine, says that this should be the summer of pride. This is a deliberate decision, a deliberately constructed strategy that the left is launching. You might've noticed that so-called pride month was a little bit different this year than it has been in past years. Sure, companies have sometimes displayed rainbow flags this year, but no pride month has ever been like the pride month that we are experiencing right now, where it is just shoved in our faces, quite literally shoved in our faces with these pride parades and these drag queen shows that are vulgar, that are sexually graphic, that are seem to have a recurring theme of male on male leather bondage. It's just horrendous, grotesque, gruesome, graphic, explicit, stuff that we're supposed to accept or else we're bigots, right? Or else we're anti-gay, we're anti-trans. Something different is happening this summer. We can all acknowledge that. And Admiral Rachel Levine is the one announcing the Summer of Pride. And the Summer of Pride, the point of Summer of Pride, they are, they are hoping to achieve three things by branding this entire summer the Summer of Pride. They have a goal and it is three-pronged. And I'm going to show you exactly how they are achieving or hoping to achieve their three-pronged goal. And I'm gonna show you this via a series of videos. So the Summer of Pride that was announced by Rachel Levine, there's essentially three goals that the left is trying to achieve with this, with this Summer of Pride. And I'm gonna show you what these three goals are and how the left is going to try to achieve them via a series of videos. So first we're gonna start with Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris was trending all over the internet two days ago because she, <laughs> a year and a half later, comes out against Florida's parental rights and education bill. The bill that the left intentionally, euphemistically, and dishonestly dubbed the don't say gay bill. You and I know that don't say gay never appeared in that bill. It does not appear in the law. The law itself is what, eight pages? And the purpose of the law is to prevent sexually explicit gender ideology from being taught to children in primary grades, kindergarten, first, second, and third grade, and to prohibit school staff, teachers, administrators, counselors, et cetera, from hiding from parents when their children are quote unquote transitioning on school grounds. That's it. That's all the parental rights and education law does in Florida. It has nothing to do with, with not being allowed to say the word gay Nothing at all. But of course, this is what Kamala Harris says in response. In, in The Advocate magazine, this was an article published on Wednesday, June 21st, Kamala Harris says, you look at Florida, the don't say gay bill, and what this has meant for LGBTQ plus teachers who are now afraid. She said, it's outrageous. She said, I'm looking at this 20-something Florida teacher who has dedicated themselves to one of the most honorable professions. And the teacher who is happily married or in a committed relationship is hesitant to hang a picture of their family because they worry that if a kid in their class asks, who is that? It will spark a discussion about same-sex relationships and they will risk losing their job. Outrageous, she said. Now, what's funny about this is on MSNBC last year during the um, debate over this bill, MSNBC hosted a teacher, a gay man, who was uh, becoming teary, he was weeping, on MSNBC, on air, very embarrassing for him, because he deliberately posted a picture of he and his gay lover at the front of the class in order to uh, elicit 
questions from his students about his sex life. He did that deliberately, intentionally, so that he could talk to kindergartners, first graders, second graders, third graders about his own sexual preferences, about his sex acts, about his gay relationship with another man. No, I think we can all agree that this is wildly inappropriate. This is not what Kamala Harris is characterizing it. She's deliberately lying about this. But it plays into what one of the goals of the left this summer, they are activating this plan this summer. We are watching this play out. It is incumbent on us to recognize that when they engage in this performative behavior, what they are trying to achieve. Because if we don't recognize what they're doing, we won't be able to stop it. Kamala Harris is deliberately misrepresenting this bill because the left is trying to nuke parental rights this summer. The left is trying to separate children from their parents. The left is trying to redefine so-called children's rights to essentially place children under the authority of the state instead of under the dominion of their parents. We are watching this play out. That's the first prong of what this strategy in, uh, entails. And they're making, this is, this is their push. They've conditioned the population and they're making the push. The second thing that they're trying to achieve this summer is best exemplified with the following video. This is from the Pride Parade in New York. It is a group of quote unquote queer people who are marching. And as you can plainly see on the screen here, we're blurring out um, a topless woman for obvious reasons. And they are chanting, they are chanting, we're here, we're queer, and we're coming for your children. That's what they're chanting. We're here, we're queer, and we're coming for your children. Now, were they saying this ironically? Because that's what, that's what we have observed. That's what we have acknowledged, the reality of what the left is doing. Were they saying this to try to mock conservatives who, uh, who, who levy this valid accusation at the left? Probably. Okay, we have to take a quick ad break. We'll be right back, so don't go anywhere. Because you have to think about the nuance inherent to this. It's not black and white all the time. Hi guys, it's Liz Wheeler. Don't forget to watch my show, The Liz Wheeler Show, every night at 7 p.m. on The First TV. You can download the free First TV app, or you can visit thefirsttv.com slash Liz and start watching today.